What's up everyone, Mikey here with another topic video. Apparently Cloudflare, which is software that is basically used by every site it seems like, every site that isn't Google, Amazon, Microsoft, basically uses Cloudflare. Actually, I think Microsoft even uses it for some of their offhand sites. But regardless, it is basically middleman software. However, there has been a memory leak, apparently since 2016, but don't worry. We'll talk a little bit more about it, why that's not necessarily 100% relevant later. But essentially there has been a memory leak that could end up leaking your personal information and passwords, which is a bit scary. Now, it's not something that, you know, was intentional and the chances of them grabbing your personal data is literally like next to impossible because of the way the memory leak worked. It was basically random memory that just overflowed from a buffer. So basically, if you use any sort of Cloudflare um, websites that has your password on it and you actually care about your personal data on that or use that password on other sites as well. So let's say it was like, Oh, BandrewKazooie.com uses it and I use it on my Google account. You're going to want to change it even though Google's not affected because if, you know, they get a hold of that password, they can end up, you know, searching it into their little hacker databases. I know that's not what it's called. Don't yell at me. But they can end up putting it into their database and then use it to try and attack you on other services because if they do find passwords or they do find usernames, they're going to try and match it up with the databases they already have. And trust me, they do have databases. So basically what this means is yes if you have personal information on any of those passwords make sure to change it i wouldn't be concerned about not important sites like let's say it was like a fan site for a video game thing you didn't even have to enter in your name it's just like oh yeah just put in an account name and you're good then i probably wouldn't worry about it too much at least i personally won't be worrying about it too much it is one of those things that you probably should like it should be best practice to change it but i wouldn't necessarily worry about it too much because the chances of it happening are just so small now, what exactly happened? Why has this been a problem for a long time? Well, this is actually a bug that was apparently been in Cloudflare. Now, I'm going off of articles that I've read. Um, basically, this has been a bug that's been in Cloudflare since 2016. Now, I have a link to a GitHub sort of page that has all the information about exactly what happened. And it talks about a lot of sites that have been affected, which there's a lot of them. And so there's like, you know, here's some common sites and here's like the top 10,000 ones that, you know, have traffic that you should end up checking out and stuff like that. But basically it's every single site that's not Google, Amazon, whatever, those types of websites that end up already hosting their own. So yeah, you should probably change your passwords globally. But essentially what happened was there was a buffer overload for the like memory cache, which is when the data was actually going between the main server and the actual user and so basically what cloudflare is is it's a middleman software for security and other types of features and you use that to sort of protect against ddos attacks you know hackers and things like that which it's a little bit ironic considering the problem is a memory leak but regardless you would end up having that situation to where it would end up actually overflowing the amount of memory that it was allowed and this would actually go into its other sort of cache memory and then it would be able to be picked up by things like scanners or search engines, which basically search engines are scanners. And this would allow anybody to literally see it if they check that search engine kind of cache because the data would change constantly when, you know, information was in transit because this memory would obviously always be changing. And so it's like, oh, well now it's gonna be this data. And so it could end up being, you know, stuff about complete jargon. It could be part of a private message. It could be part of a normal message. It could be just the header image. So it's, it, it's unsure exactly what's going to be in there. You don't just say like, oh, well, it's always going to be personal information. That's not actually what happened. And the chances of it actually being any personal information whatsoever was, I think, cited as 0.00003%, I think, something around that. Um, Obviously, it's in the link in the description, so you can end up checking that out. And the chances of it being your personal data is even slimmer. And it's not all going to be like passwords and stuff like that, but the chances of it being your password are still there. That's why everyone is suggesting that you end up changing your passwords. Now, how did they kind of go around fixing this? Because this is kind of a big issue that's been around for a while. Well, apparently Cloudflare has obviously contacted search engines and any scanner sites that they could possibly do so to kind of clear out their caches and get rid of as much information that's out there. However, there is a lot of smaller sites such as scanners and things that could still end up holding your data and they could have found out this data before Cloudflare got a hold of it. Now, there's no sighting of that actually happening. It is possible, but at the same time, it could have been just a problem that nobody ended up seeing. And so basically it could literally affect absolutely nobody and but most of the data has been sort of cleared but there is a chance that it is out there and if it's out there then that means that you should probably change your password it's it's a very very strange as in like i'm 
personally changing my password for the sites that I care about, but I'm not actually changing it for everything because I sign up for a lot of useless sites, you know, forums and things like that, because I like to go into communities and see what's going on. And some websites require you to sign up and it's like, all right, well, I'll just sign up with this email address. And that was basically it. And so, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at is like, if you care about your personal data and you care about, you know, those passwords that you're using on any site then you should probably change them you know things like reddit and things like that i don't think reddit actually uses it but it is something to keep in mind especially if you use a password for multiple websites you know if you have one that's on cloudflare like i'm joe and then you end up having it on google.com as well they can end up accessing your google.com so definitely looking to change in that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this has been michael with the topic video warning you guys to change your passwords and you should already be changing your passwords regularly and stuff like that i know nobody does um i even don't most of the time <laughs> like i have some passwords that are like five years old and i always forget them too and it's like ah, i just i just can't change them because if i change it then i'm like all right what is it when i go to try to log in and it's very frustrating changing passwords sucks um some people do suggest that you should use like a password manager but Personally, I like to have my own manager or own passwords because I don't want somebody hacking into one password and then literally having access to literally everything, which would suck. And especially since I do a lot of different business type stuff, that's kind of important to have locked down. But regardless, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. You can also check out my impressions review series. The most I recent one I did was for Icy, a really fun 2D action game that has a meta story. It's very, very strange and bizarre, and I don't necessarily know how to describe it but it is actually really, really fun. And so you should end up checking that out if you like 2D brawlers, or if not, then don't check it out. I'm not the boss, whatever. You can do whatever you want. But regardless, you can also check out my other topic videos. I do these on the reg, and you can also end up checking out my other impressions reviews that are available as well. And give me your thoughts on this whole Cloudflare issue. It's kind of surprising. There's not really much thoughts to give, I guess. It's just one of those things that kind of happened and nobody noticed it for a really long time because it wasn't exactly something that was going to affect a lot of people. And so, yeah, it just was not a concern for a lot of people. And I know there's a lot of people that aren't even gonna change their passwords for it. It's gonna be one of those cases to where they're like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. I'm not gonna change my password because I'll forget it. And then, you know, somebody might be affected by this or it could literally affect nobody. And I mean, I'm gonna steer on the sort of cautious side and say that it could affect you. And so do change your passwords, but Ultimately, the chances of it actually happening are pretty dang slim. So don't worry about it on those sort of optional sites where it's like, oh, well, this is just a fan site from Andrew Kazooie. I don't care because it didn't have any sort of personal information. That's fine. It's the other sites that would have personal information that you want to worry about and those passwords that you used on those. So if you used your same password for banjokazooie.com and something else, then yeah, change it. And sorry for repeating myself. I just want to make sure it's clear because it is important. Security is always important. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.